So friends, this is Gulf Hills. It says has ties to both the notorious and the famous. Present day Gulf Hills Hotel, originally opened in 1927 as the Gulf Hills Dude Ranch and Country Club, complete with horses and an 18 hole championship golf, golf course. The project was owned and developed by Branger Brothers of Chicago, purportedly the laund with laundered mob money as a hangout for Al Capone. The railroad ran north and south between Chicago and Ocean Springs, thereby giving the kingpin mobster direct access to the Gulf of Mexico. Rum running and gambling were big business and helped the Mississippi Gulf Coast earn its nickname as the Dixie Mafia Capital. Many famous entertainers, celebrities, and dignitaries were frequent guests at Gulf Hills. Elvis Presley was one of the most frequent and well-known. He and his entire entourage would stay summers during the years, and it says 51 to 57. We know that's not accurate. I'd say 56 to 57, using Gulf Hills as a central point for their travels. People still stop by and reminisce about their special encounters with the king of American music. And it says this marker is part of Jackson County's 200th anniversary celebration. School students may add this site to their passport with a pencil rubbing of the picture above. Additional information on Jackson County's history and 200th anniversary events may be found online. Jackson County 200. This is it right here. Still standing, still looks original. There's the golf course right there. And we're gonna look for other buildings. We found some photographs and some things that we feel pretty confident happened around here. So we're gonna dig in and see what we can find. Still here. Ocean Springs, right next to Biloxi. Across the uh, bay from Biloxi. Established in 1927. Right. So, where were they talking about going out on the veranda? So, Elvis and Gladys and Vernon. They would come eat here. There was a restaurant here, and there was also a pony lounge. Now this thing's changed a lot over the years. I was hoping I could figure out how to light this up, but I don't, I don't see one switch. So we really don't know, friends. Unfortunately, they had a fire, and they had some other things that happened. And she mentioned that you can see, like from the outside, you can see some windows, but you can't see them from the inside. Like in a storage area. But this is the veranda area. The swimming pool is no doubt original, this area. And they sat, there's film, there's pictures of them sitting out here. You can see where the pier would be over there. Here it is. Check this out and see if the tile is still the same on the ground. That so that's them sitting out here around the pool. And you see, it looks like terracotta type stuff. Let's see if we see any of that. I don't see any of it. But all this stuff has changed. You can see that there's nothing like it was before. I'll show you some before pictures. And if you look, you can see the concrete. Now that stuff may be the same, but the rest of it has completely changed. Nothing like it was. The pool is the same. This has been turned into storage. In fact, you can see 
There's walls. Most of those windows that you see out there are walled over. And a slip ray. Slip ray. So friends, you look right here. This is the way the pool did look. The building's burned since then. But on the right hand side, if you look right up in there, you'll see that there's four pieces of glass side to side. And notice that where, let me click on this. Notice that where the edge is, you see there's a, a it looks like a, a tunnel or a cover far back. And notice that the flower bed right in this area, I'm gonna try to point right in that area, is wide and then it gets thin right up against the building. So the arch would have been right there. This is where that glass would have been. The swimming pool is right there. We believe, and, and Trey figured this out, I think he may be right. We believe that these photographs happen right here. So if you look right there, you see that angle where it gets almost to, it actually angles to the building. And also notice the siding. You see how it's thin cut uh, it looks like maybe two inch wide pieces covering wide pieces, like covering the, gra the gaps. And then you see behind him, you see glass. So if you look back at this picture right here, again, we believe that it is th those, that glass you see, the four down the side right there, and where it goes wide to thin, we believe he's standing right there and there's bushes behind him. And he's basically like it would have gone at kind of this angle. So right up against the building, he would have been standing somewhere right about here. And you can imagine the glass right there, the swimming pool over there. All of this has changed drastically. That was not there. None of this stuff looked like this. And let's see if we can see, do you see a step in there? You could see steps down the side. Right there with steps. Yeah, and you see, I mean, you see where the, we're right here where the arch is, the pavement goes kind of around. I mean, it's changed an awful lot, but we feel pretty confident that it happened right here. And this would have been uh, part of the entrance, I believe, back then. That's what that arch was, where you could come in and out from this side. And where they were staying when they weren't, were not here, was right down that street. So this would have been directly out to the pier and things like that. So we're not 100% sure, but I tell you, it sure seems that way. And let me show you one more thing. You see how we were talking about the siding with the thin pieces? Now look at this photograph. And look at the siding on the front of it. You see the thin pieces and the wide pieces all the way around. I could sure make a good case, and, Kay, and Trey could too, that it happened right here. So friends, we figured out that that counter was not here back then. This was the, actually the dining room area. So this is where Vernon and Gladys would have eaten at in this part of the, of the place. And the side door that's around where the arch is, is where the check-in desk. So they would have checked in on the end of the building down there and gone in. This would have been the dining area. Changed a bunch. Thank you. Imagine the parties happening here. Yeah. yeah so we're okay. So she's talking about that building over there. Mm -hmm. Well, when we came around that corner, there was another street that I think we were yeah. supposed to turn up. So let's go check that out. Yeah. So let's go to the back and see if we can do those picture lineups real quick. And then we'll go there. I'm just getting some beauty shots. See, I mean, we can find those. Yeah, see, that those. right there should be easy to spot. Oh, yeah. And also those bricks should be easy to spot. See, and I saw the panel on these things last time, and it looked like the same. Yeah, it looks just like that. 